in a partnership between the World Health Organization and the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, we have utilized data from the Global Burden of Diseases, Injuries, and Risk Factors study to produce estimates of the number of individuals who benefit from rehabilitation. These estimates are available from 1990 to 2019 and are disaggregated by age, sex, geography, and conditions of interest. These estimates suggest that one in every three people in the world would benefit from rehabilitation services and show us that rehabilitation is not a service only required by the few, but is an essential component of primary health care. In order to better understand these estimates and the interesting patterns that emerge, we have developed an online visualization tool for data exploration. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the tool so that you can explore these results for yourself. BizHub.HealthData.org is the starting point for exploring the WHO Rehabilitation Need Estimator Visualization Tool. On the opening screen, we find key findings, highlighting results for 2019, the most recent year included in this analysis. In the top left corner, a location drop-down menu offers a choice of six geographical regions, World Bank high-income countries, or global results to be selected. Within each region, you can also select an individual country to view the key findings for that country. Clicking on leading condition at the top of the screen opens a global map showing the leading health condition requiring rehabilitation in each country, according to the colored categories at the bottom of the map. Placing the cursor over any country opens a text box containing information about the leading condition in that particular country. Beneath the top menu, a series of drop-down menus allow the data search to be refined according to age, sex, and the measure or metric. With the figure title and text box information changing according to category selections. A reset button changes all categories back to their default settings. Additionally, a year slider allows you to change the year for which you view the results. Clicking on conditions at the top of the screen takes you to a page where seven condition categories can be explored with the same settings parameters as previously shown. The default view displays the seven condition categories, but you can also select total counts or more specific conditions, such as neurological disorders. And a slider enables you to see how the results change over time from 1990 to 2019. At the bottom of the page, a menu allows you to compare estimates by age, sex, location, or year. And you can select the reset button to display the original settings. Clicking the trends icon opens a line graph showing trends for six geographical regions, World Bank high income countries, as well as globally. In the location menu, you can add and remove locations, including global, regional, or country-specific trend lines to facilitate comparisons. Clicking on the condition drop-down menu allows users to select a specific health condition or category, such as chronic respiratory diseases. An age group, as well as other parameters, can also be selected, and moving the cursor along the line will open a text box containing the numeric results. Uncertainty intervals can be shown and removed with the toggle. And the metric can be changed from rate to number with a single click. As with other pages of the visualization, the default setting of both sexes can be changed to show just male or just female results. And all of the settings will revert to the default view by clicking reset. Clicking on the global icon in the top menu opens a world map of the prevalence rate of individuals with need for rehabilitation across all conditions. 
A toggle enables the map to show the rate of change for each country based upon the other selected parameters. Drop-down menus allow specific conditions and condition categories, age groups, and sex to be selected, as well as years lived with disability in place of prevalence. Buttons in the top right corner allow you to share the visualization by copying the link or sharing via email, Twitter, or Facebook. At any point, if you would like to access the estimates underlying the current visualization, you can download a CSV file of the results. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it helps you to navigate the WHO Rehabilitation Need Estimator Data Visualization Tool and explore these important results.